What up, it's Melvin7 here and today I'm bringing you episode 9 of my Let's Play Ultimate Team FIFA 21 series. Now, it's a little bit of a different start. Uh, this is primarily for Xbox users. It might work for PC too, I'm not entirely sure. I don't think Sony have something similar. If they do, I'm not aware of it because my primary console is Xbox. But yeah, this is Microsoft Rewards. I'm going to leave a link in the description and it's a service by Microsoft to give back to people who spend time or money on whatever services they have. So if you've bought FIFA 21 on the Xbox online store, you've bought FIFA points for any FIFA, uh, you've bought games like I just bought Crash 4 on the Microsoft uh, store on Xbox, then you will get some points back. As you can see, uh, my available points, I've already spent them all. Probably should have done this video before I spent them, but anyhow, I can show you how to redeem things. You can also get points for simply doing things like searching on uh, Bing, uh, using your mobile to search, using Microsoft Edge, and I think th those are daily points, which isn't bad, or weekly points or whatever. You can see you can get like 2,900, which is actually not bad, uh, as you'll be able to see when I uh, click redeem. So what I would recommend, if you want to get FIFA points, of course you can get whatever the hell you want. There's loads of stuff on here. Um, but yeah, what I would recommend if you want FIFA points is to go to this gift card, uh, as you can see, you need a minimum of 5,850 points, but you can check your balance on the link in the description. I'm trying to click this if it decides to actually let me. Come on, why is it being so slow? Bruh, oh wait, do I have to click the bar? Well, that's a bit silly. Right, anyhow, so you can get a £5 gift card, a £10 gift card, uh, which obviously is a little bit more when it decides to actually show you that. That's, for me, 11,700, depending on your level. If you're level one, it's 12,600. And then you can get a 25 for 31,000 points. And you can buy as many of these as points you've got available, which is really good. So in this video, I had enough for a 10 pound Xbox gift card. So I redeemed that and then bought some FIFA points. Uh, I put a couple of quid in as well. I think it came to about 14 pounds, whatever. So I spent about four pounds for 15 pounds worth of FIFA points due to this. And I'm just gonna show you what I got as well as some other packs in this video. So hopefully you do enjoy. And if you're on Xbox, check your Microsoft rewards if you haven't already, see what points you've got, and I'm sure you'll have enough to redeem something. So anyhow, let's get into the video. So I've checked on my uh, Microsoft Rewards. If you don't know what that is, uh, it's basically Microsoft's way of giving back to Xbox users. Every time you make a purchase or you use the search engine Bing, which I don't, I probably should. I prefer Google, but I get rewarded for using that. Yeah, anyway, you get some reward points and yeah, I had enough for 10 pounds worth of, um, well, I'm using it on FIFA points, of course. Uh, so yeah, we're going to open a couple of packs and just see. I'm going to leave um, at least 300 points so I can uh, afford a draft. But that is a rare player, but nothing else. But yeah, it's just a little something that Microsoft do. I don't know if Sony do it. Ooh, that's a good card to pack right there. And Barbu was going for quite a bit at the start. Uh, I'm going to list him for about 16. Uh, we'll say 16,500. Really, really good uh, good start there in the packs. Vendel might go for something because of the SPC. He doesn't really, so we're going to discard that. And yeah, um, I've noticed when people tend to buy a smaller amount of FIFA points, uh, you know, you tend to get a little bit better. Um, what I mean by that, 80 packs is how many you get from um, 12k FIFA points. And this will allow me to open about 12 uh, if I have 300 points spare for a draft. So maybe 14. And yeah, I, I guarantee during this I will get at least three boards or um, a walkout. Uh, genuinely. And considering what I was getting with some of the other packs uh, in the 12k FIFA points... You know, that would kind of back up the theory that if you buy less, you tend to get more. Of course, it's probably just completely random and it's probably a load of bollocks. And, you know, it's it's probably just a, one of those myths that isn't actually true. But we'll see, of course. Um, right, it's another rare player. It's not a walkout. It's not a board. So we're three for three for rares, but not for boards. 
Uh, Bill Robbie, hopefully he goes for a little bit. Not as much as I was kind of hoping for the start of FIFA. Um, we'll still list him though. We've got another anchor chem style there. I, I realised that we got one last time as well. I think they're about yeah, they're they're about two point five k. I'll keep that for now. I'll discard these. But yeah, we're we're getting some rare players. But as I say, I, I reckon uh, we've got ten packs left potentially. Although I, I'm probably only going to open eight more packs because uh, obviously I want enough for a draft. That's another rare player, but not. Aboard, so maybe, maybe I'm talking horseshit. Like at the end of the day, it might just be oh my god, what a pull! What a pull to get 80 rated cards, Saint Maximin. Don't ask why the hell he's so much. I know he's got five star skills, but 50k almost. Yo, straight on the transfer list with that. We're gonna list him for that and hope he gets a quick sale. But yeah, he's a brilliant player, but 80 rated, he is not gonna hold that value for long. Once the hype dies down, unless he, well, actually, yeah, I might, I might have been better keeping him, actually, because he's got an inform, so his price might raise, uh, well, I assume he'll have an inform by the time this video uh, is potentially out because of his uh, performance for Newcastle, uh, so, yeah, but that that's the type of card you love to see, um, you know, another 50k there, uh, anything good in this, we get a Hunter chem style, like, the chem styles are coming in clutch, uh, we might not have had a board, but we're certainly getting our, our money's worth. I spent £14.59 on this. Yeah, he sold. He sold for almost 50 k That's insane. Um, but yeah, about just shy of £15. Obviously, £10 of that was a gift card from Microsoft. So, uh, we're not doing bad. Again, okay, right. No walkout, no board again. But, you know, another Maximin would be brilliant. Uh, James isn't quite of the same ilk, uh, but again, maybe maybe a couple of k. We'll just list him. But yeah, um, we we've probably got almost about a hundred k from this uh, so far, which isn't bad at all. And we've still got a few packs left, so we've got a thousand fever points left. So I could open five more and then buy fifty uh, fever points just to have those three hundred for the draft. So the one annoying thing about FIFA points, unless you buy in 12k, it, it you're always 100 short or 50 short of what you need, which is the idea because EA want you to go and buy some more. So we will see. But now I'll, I'll probably just open until I've got 400 uh, points. And there's my cat, uh, Beatrix. Is she going to give me any luck? Well, she hasn't gave me a board, but, you know, another maximum would be brilliant. And she's nearly fell off my leg. Great. But yeah, oh Sergio Romero, I'm I'm really disappointed with Manchester United in the fact that we did not allow him to leave. He's been a loyal servant um, for the club, and yeah, he deserved his move. Thus far, that hasn't happened. Of course, he can leave. I think today, at the time of recording, it's after deadline day, so he can leave to a domestic uh, rival. I think we're getting a lot of rares, but we haven't got a board yet, which is disappointing. But in terms of coin value, we haven't done bad at all. Uh, just go and discard that. Why is Cam to centre mid a non-rare? Look at that. It's like three and a half k. That's that's weird. That's weird. Um, right. How much do we have left? We've got. Okay. This is uh, this will be two more packs after this one. Another rare. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not a board. It's not a. Sorry. It's not a walkout. It's not a board. Ah, but so far we've had one pack that hasn't had a rare player, and the rest of them have, albeit that one was terrible, but still. Probably shouldn't have discarded Signal or Duna Park as well, Dortmunds, it might have went for something. And have the servers crashed, or is that my internet that's went off? I do not know. Servers by the looks of it. Yep, okay, just booted me off and then we're back. Anyway. Looks like you've got some items to deal with. I wonder what these could be. There we go. Right. Uh, no, we're not opening bronze pack. So... No, this is the last one. I'll open a 5k pack after this just to, you know, get the, the FIFA points off. Um, no board again. Okay, well, my theory has been shot in flames unless we somehow pull something miraculous from the, uh, the 5k pack that I'm going to open. Right, we'll just discard all that. And we have our um, pre-order bonus uh, for buying the Ultimate Edition. So the first one is Lone Player and Content Pack. Um, 
I don't think this is as interesting as it sounds, but we'll see. So we got a walkout uh, foot 21 team of the week kit. So just what you want. In fairness, the kit actually looks pretty nice. <laughs> um, oh, uh oh, I shit myself there. I saw Mbappe and thought, oh my God, but no, of course it's a loan. And three gold loan players. Oh, this again? What? Uh, okay. Um, bit pointless to give us the same players on loan again, but Mbappe on loan's nice. That'll go well for the... Um, the objective uh, Mbappe's storyline. Anyway, so we've got two 25k packs. These are the ones that have at least three rare golds and the rest of it is consumables most of the time. So the first one is not a walkout or a board. We'll let it uh, show though, what do we get? Center back, oh, Ake. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, last time of checking, he was extinct at 14,000 coins. I don't believe that'll be the case now. Oh my God, he's, really? Wow, he's like 18k. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. That's uh, that's insane. His card isn't even that good. It's just for the pace, really, isn't it? In Premier League. Uh, we also get a Hunter Chemistry Style, which is very, very nice. Uh, we'll sell that for about 3k. So a successful first pack, definitely. Um, What was the duplicate? He might go for something, actually. Mazar? No, he doesn't. Okay. Right, we'll just store the rest and we'll open the next one and hope for something big. Um, but yeah, that's already been a win. That's 20k easy. Uh, so anything else is a bonus. It's not a walkout. It's not a board, unfortunately. So it hasn't been too good uh, in terms of high rated stuff. Canales, uh, it probably doesn't go for anything. 82 rated Spanish centre mid. What else do we have in there? The right back Pena might go for something. I don't think so though. So overall, in terms of player value, not so bad. In terms of player rating, pretty bad. But eh, we'll see what we get next week.